Uh, my point here was to give you guys a behind the scenes of uh, how it gets done when you take it to the dealership. Of course, if you have an aftermarket radio, then completely disregard the entire video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. Today's episode is going to be a short one and hopefully an entertaining one nonetheless. Although software update, how entertaining can this possibly be? So guys, basically as I'm sure most of you know on your forerunners, and I'm going to include everything else also on the Toyota lineup and Lexus. Feel free to watch the video because it does apply to you as well. Uh, most people don't know, but your radio does have capability of getting a software update. Um, and I'm going to show you with this video, I'm basically going to bring you behind the scenes so that you can see what is it that we as technicians do to your radio and your software when you do bring it in. And in many ways to explain to you why uh, they charge you whatever it is that they charge you. Uh, so sit back enjoy and hopefully this is going to be pretty straightforward and uh, easy to comprehend so first things first let's turn on the ignition and i'm going to show you guys how you can check for your software update or in this case us as technicians this is the first step so you come in here and you're going to press menu well actually continue of course menu under the menu you got setup under setup you got that arrow press up so you can see there there's software update you're going to go to the top one once you press in there you want to go ahead and write these numbers down because this is going to be needed in order to figure out which one is the software update to be uploaded and one more thing that is worthy of mentioning is you can check by clicking on the history if you ever had a software update. As you can see, blank screen means no update has been done to this car as of yet. And another thing which is also important to note is when you click on software information, it will tell you what kind of radio you have. So Panasonic it is. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the correct software update for this vehicle. So the very first thing we got to do is log into TIS. And for those of you that are not familiar, this is a short explanation of what it is. Uh, you can actually subscribe to it um, for an annual fee, of course. And once you're in there, you do find the correct service bulletin for the correct radio. Panasonic is what we're looking for. And once you're in there, uh, there's actually a lot of good reading material in this bulletin. Uh, feel free to pause the video at any time. Uh, it does address, this software update does address quite a few issues as you can see here. And I think it's a no brainer really uh, to get it done when they do come along. I mean, obviously it's a lot easier for me to say that because I have access to it. But so here are the files. In this particular case, because I have a premium, we're going to need both DCU and MEU files for both the audio and a navigation, that is. And I am currently downloading them to the system. Every single one of these bulletins does have very easy to follow instructions on how to get it done. You just gotta follow along and it's super simple. As you can see here, there's new versions and old versions. You compare it to the ones that are on the car and follow along. So to get this download to the car, you need a USB flash drive. As you can see here, we're gonna plug it in and transfer those two files to the flash drive. Super easy. You click on them and drag them to the USB section. Uh, once that download is completed, then you are good to go.
also as a side note these are the requirements as far as usb flash drive that you will have to use how's it going you forgot your flash drive 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 who can remember the tv series in which the main character is singing that on a train ride but we did not forget our flash drives so first things first let's open it up we slide it over there like so okay it's in place let's go ahead kind of key here you want to do this with the car running you'll see in a second why I warned you guys this was going to be a little on the boring side but listen oh no no no, no. we got to cut the sound right This way you guys will know what it actually uh, goes on when updating a radio. So set up, right? Arrow up, software update, right? And you see how it says new software was found, right? And now you see you got the current, those numbers, and we're gonna update it to those numbers. As you can see, navigation, audio. So we're gonna go ahead and this is pretty cool because it actually tells you exactly what is improving. And we're gonna go press OK. And it also fixes several bugs. As you can see, it is a fairly big file. And there it is. And what I'm gonna do is fast forward this a big time so you guys are not bored staring at this uh, display, but look at the time keep that in mind and you will see what i mean that it does take a little bit of time see you in a little bit when all is said and done you're going to get a message like this and basically yeah you just got to follow the instructions there's really nothing to it so let's go ahead we are outside we're going to turn off the engine and then what you want to do is turn it back on and it is going to complete the update. Just like so. I mean, there's really nothing else to it. I'll show you guys in a second how you can confirm that everything went according to plan. So press continue. And now again, I'm going to go to menu. Tom Morello, man, great show. Setup again this is pretty repetitive and what you want to do here is software update and now check this out oh yeah baby you see how we got today's date right there that just confirms that our software update was performed as planned and there you have it this is how you do a software update on your radio as you guys can see it's a little elaborate. It's really not that big of a deal. It is time consuming indeed. And word to the wise, if you know your car is going to run out of uh, warranty, you know, 36,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but confirm that with your service advisor. Go ahead and just ask them, can you please check to see if my radio has a software update? And we would go ahead, do it, and it gets done on the warranty. Anything after the warranty period, then we, of course, and I hope this video helps you understand why, would have to charge you a small fee. Uh, but there you have it. This is how you perform a software update on your Toyota OEM radio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. If you didn't like it, hey, listen. They got that button there too, but uh, that's not nice, man. As always, guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's a lot more stuff coming your way. But in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying your cars and I will catch you guys on the next one.